Hi, thank you for joining me today. It's going to be my second review using my greenhouse chilled beer dispenser. I was in a beer store, went into four different beer stores today looking for a particular beer that I couldn't find, but I found several other things that I really want to uh, review. And this one jumped off the shelf at me. Maybe it's been reviewed a million times, but I've never seen one. And I watch beer reviewers, so I don't think it has. So. I'm going to jump right into it. I've already got one loaded up in here, so I don't have to, uh, I don't have to, uh, put it in there and take it out to read the can. I'm going to go ahead and put it in this kind of, eh, you know what? I'm not going to put it in that glass. Where are my stout glasses? Yeah. Here's one, gnarly oak. I always go back to the gnarly oak, you know it. Let's get this into a glass, and then I'll uh, I'll tell you all about it. But first, let's let Scylla do her thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian the beer snob. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in the glass. This is a white stout, but this is not just any white stout. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, and she is tasty. Let her settle down in the glass. What we got here is not just any white stout. This is a Betty White stout right here. Betty White Stout, brewed with vanilla bean, chocolate, and lactose. It's got Betty White right there on it with uh, the red hair logo, which, ironically enough, happens to be a white hair on it. But, man, she looks amazing. Look at that. White, uh, uh, white Stouts. I've had a couple of White Stouts. I tend to prefer the traditional stouts, which are the dark ones. Um, but I can tell you that when I just sip that head just then, uh, this has a pretty amazing flavor. Let's see what we got here. What's the ABV? This is a 7.4%. Brewed by Red Hair Brewing Company, Marietta, Georgia, and I know I'll probably screw this up. Is it Shalote, North Carolina? I think it's shallow. We'll go with that. If I'm wrong, let me know down below. But let's get back to this beer, man. This is Betty White Stout. And I'm eager to dive into it, so cheers. Mm. Oh. That has got a fantastic flavor. I love chocolate. That's why I love the stouts. The, you know, the stouts, the, the chocolate and the coffees. This one does not have the chocolate or the coffees. This has vanilla. Well, it does say it has chocolate. Vanilla bean, chocolate, and lactose. But I can tell you, that if they're putting any chocolate in here, it must be minuscule amounts because I am getting the overwhelming vanilla. Nice aroma. Really nice flavor. This is a good, this is a good stout for people who, I, I know, stouts, you either love them or hate them, right? It's kind of like IPAs. It's, it's rare to find somebody who could, you know, I'll, I'll drink an IPA or I won't, or I'll drink a stout or I won't. You either love them or you don't. Um, this being a white stout, this is not as, uh, bold of a flavor as a regular stout. But it's a good flavor. And I think those of you non-stout drinkers would like this. Because look, I mean, it looks more like a beer, like what you're used to a beer looking like. You know? It's got that golden color. This one appears to have very minimal carbonation. I mean, the bubbles 
are, you know, like ploop, ploop, ploop. I mean, they're slow, but I can tell you in the mouth, it's got plenty of carbonation bite on your tongue. Not a flat beer. I agree, Tiger. He's always got something to say, you know what? Mm. Do I got any more left in there? Yeah. There you go. Spit it out all over the bar. I got towels. I can mop it up. Mm. Why do I keep sitting it there? I got these. Got these Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneer coasters. Always makes the beer taste a lot better when you sit it on one of those. Yeah. I like it though. So the Betty White Stout by Red Hair Brewing Company. Some good stuff. Uh, I went to, like I said, four different liquor stores today to find a particular beer I was looking for. And they all had this, and this was just a six pack, and it was $13.99. And then the last liquor store I went to, I saw they had it for $9.99. So I grab the six pack, and I go up to the counter. And the guy says, uh, he rings it up, and he says, that'll be $14.60. I said, $14.60? It says $9.99 on the, on the shelf over there. And he said, oh yeah, they keep changing the prices. He probably just forgot to update it on the, on the sticker, on the shelf. It's supposed to be $13.99. So I walk over there to look, because I'm like, you know, if it says $9.99 and it's their mistake, I was just going to tell him I was going to put it back. But he said, no, nope. it was $9.99. They changed it to $13.99, which still, for a six pack, it's not bad. It's less than $2.50 a beer. You know, where are you going to go and get a beer for $2.50? You know. But. Uh, he sold it to me for ten dollars, which was nice. And uh, so now it's here for you. If you can find it, it's probably going to be thirteen ninety nine. But I know beer prices vary across the country. Um, here in Georgia, Metro Atlanta area, where I am, the Betty White Stout is thirteen ninety nine. I just got lucky and got this one for nine ninety nine. So if you can find it, if you're not a stout lover or even a stout liker, give this one a try. Buy a six pack of it. Share it with your buddies. You might turn them all on to something new. Hey, it's Betty White. Come on. So, thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you all again next time. Till then. Mm. Betty.